I've been here in this situation that uh, he has going on. So I understand where he is coming from completely already. And he, he only said a little bit. So if you already think I'm biased and you don't want to watch a biased reaction, leave. If I've been there before, I know someone else can go. So I will push your ass to the point where it's like, nigga, let's go, let's get it. If you're working with me, we in the game. If you're not, I don't need you around me. I wanted you to film with him so we can both make money, dummy. That Here was the are. point. Yeah, we got close. Your girl was messing with other dudes in LA, my brother. Why are you sitting there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, that is not nothing I would do. DDG, <laughs> did you just snitch on her? <laughs> you mad as hell. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Now, I have not done reactions in a long time. I mean, a long, long time, okay? I have to show y'all the breakthrough with me. I'm sure this is gonna be, the breakthrough is gonna be before this. Um, however, you know, y'all want me to get back into reactions, I'm gonna get into them. You know, I got the latest reactions on fucking YouTube, period. Nobody can tell me any different. So, I understand that y'all missed that good quality content. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and give it to y'all. Um, apparently, DDG done uh, kicked somebody out of Zooted. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. He got his own uh, label, I guess. YouTuber label, rapper label. Don't know. I support it regardless. Y'all know I like DDG. So we're gonna go ahead and get to that. And uh, I'm gonna get my little two cent or whatever. And that's just that on that. Let's get it. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Done. What career? I'm not a rapper. What career? Oh, he's just so good at clapping back at people. You gotta give credit where it's due. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with your boy. Dave. Not gonna cap. I seen the beginning part, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to where he is upset. The dumbest thing you could have ever did. Now I'm gonna tell y'all the backstory on everything before I get into this reaction. This video might be a little long. By the way, I'm reacting to DDG pretty much. Uh, I don't know. He's he's he kicked Riley uh, Simpson, some girl that's in his label, off of his uh whatever he calling it. You know what I'm saying? Kicked up out of there. Kicked up out of Zooted. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he telling us why. Popcorn. Go heat up some chicken. Go heat up whatever. It's quarantine time. Lay down in your motherfucking bed. Go on your couch. It's time for us to talk. So matter of fact, since he said that, y'all, I'm not a fat ass anymore. I know I still look big, but I'm damn healthy. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and get my own, um, my meal replacement going. You get what I'm saying? Oh, some of y'all going to want to know what meal replacement I use. Matrix, you get what I'm saying? Uh, Lincoln Bite. All right. Unsweet milk. Unsweet almond milk. All right. All right. Every morning, literally. All right. This last time, right afternoon. Here, I right. hate, I hate putting stuff in people's face. But listen, okay. I gave Riley my. This is my legendary laptop. All my info on her, text messages, everything. I made millions of dollars off of this one laptop. Mm -hmm. Riley couldn't afford a laptop. I mm. gave her this. Okay. I understand. Not Damn, for her business up there, but she's already putting mine out there. I went to Best Buy. Went to Best Buy. Mind you, this is not in the Zooted ENT contract. I just believed in her so much that I took my own hard-earned money, took her to Best Buy, and purchased her a camera. And I can kid you not. Matter of fact, before I get too deep, I'm going to just specify. We're going to call straight on the phone. I'm just going to call the other Zooted ENT members really quickly just to show how much love I show around it. Just really, really fast. It's really, really fast. You know, I know that feeling. You show people love. Hey. They yeah, spit right in your damn I'm face. Right now, but did I buy oh, you a camera? Yeah. What'd you say? No, you didn't buy me a camera. Is that six? Yeah. <laughs> he saw your face and started crying. All right, y'all, let me call Lala, man. So he got other people in the in his group and stuff. Uh, hey, hey, 
I just got a quick question. Just say yes or no. I honestly haven't been keeping up with nothing on YouTube. Oh, God. I have not watched. Aside from Armand's, uh, nope, didn't watch that. Seen that on Instagram. <laughs> I haven't been watching nothing. Did I buy you a camera? No. no. <laughs> right. Hell no. I'm Capri. Hey, I just got a super duper quick question to say yes or no, and that's it. You ready? Ready. Have I, have I bought you a camera? Have you bought me a camera? Yeah. No. No. Alright. That's up. <laughs> the flavor is yeah, vanilla. You no. Okay, alright. Alright. We call Dan real quick. Hey Dan. Oh, that's why you're doing videos with Dan Rue. Dan Rue is in his uh in Zoo. Did okay. Yeah. Quick question, yes or no, okay? Did I buy you a camera? No. Alright, that's up. What? Dude, that's all. Alright, I'll let you know later. Uh, Gotta be me. Why? Hold on. Why? Bradley, so much love. I should have asked him about a laptop too. I gave Bradley this laptop, ordered a camera, and I made. I helped him. At least he got his laptop back. <laughs> DDG the type to go get his laptop back, baby. Ah, right, that is hilarious. He didn't give it to him. He got it back. This girl on the YouTube channel, she literally started at absolute zero. When I met Riley, she was at three thousand subscribers. Now. How I met Ryan, this is what you guys need to understand, but I'm not going to specify it until I get into the reaction. Mm -hmm. How I met Riley, I met Riley, she came to one of my LA showcases, the first time T.O. performed. If you guys go watch that video, that's the night that I met Riley. She came there, right? Yeah. That was it. I met her, I seen the star potential, I was like, listen, you look like somebody. I kept telling her the whole night, I was like, you look like you can be somebody. I just started this company, if you want, let's go grab like a bite to eat, let's go get a little bit of dinner or something. We went to Noble. So basically, he seen potential in Shouting, you know what I'm saying? That's how it normally happens. People don't see the potential that they have. Somebody else has to see it in order to help them out sometimes. That's just how that works. Somebody had to see it in me. Somebody had to see it in DDG. In order for you to be a leader, you have to follow at some point. But okay. We talked about the business, everything. Woo, 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 woo. Signed. And we got to work. Then she got 200 k a month. Now let's get into the reaction. That Come is the whole back story. I looked out for Riley more than any other person. That's why I'm so highly disappointed that she decided to throw dirt on my name. But we're going to get into this video. Without further ado, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get it. Let's go. No, man. All right, y'all. Um, I was going to set the camera up, set the um, tripod up, but I don't feel like editing this video because it's really... Period. Once I make this video, it's done. I'm not talking about Riley anymore. Um, it's over with. Point blank period. I'm not. I have nothing else to say to this girl. I'm not even high by anything. If I see him right there, I wouldn't even speak to her after this. I'm very, Come on. very disappointed. I feel very, very disrespected. But not gonna cap. Y'all know how some people might be in the comments. You biased because yeah, I probably am biased in this situation. Not gonna cap. Uh, you know, I well, <laughs> I've been here in this situation that uh, he has going on. So. I understand where he is coming from completely already and he he only said a little bit so if you already think i'm biased and you don't want to watch a biased reaction leave because <laughs> um, i feel him i'm gonna just show y'all the video so y'all don't even gotta go watch it don't even go watch a video point blank period um but let's see of fuzzy things going on with my channel, with me, with how you guys feel about me, and a lot of things that just haven't made sense. For starters, with the way we met, you know, like, I didn't, like, say the right way where we met because he didn't feel like it was going to be appropriate, because the same way he met Seven, he met me. I met him in the club. Here's a video of me and him in the club. This was the day of my birthday. I met him through a friend. He liked me at that moment. I <laughs> If I wanted you, <laughs> despite of you having a boyfriend, despite of anything, point blank period. If I wanted you, I could have had you. Period. And you know that. Oh. We both know that. Oh. The first time that Tito performed, if you guys want to go back and find it, 
I met Riley that night. She came to the little LA showcase with one of my homies. It was the nigga that was in the Cloud Chasing video, actually. He was in the Cloud Chasing music video. Mm -hmm. And when I seen her, I was like, you look like you can be somebody. That was basically it. I was like, you look like you can be somebody. Woo -woo -woo. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and act like Riley is ugly. She's not ugly, okay? But in reality, Riley, you're not fucking with any of my exes. You're not fucking with any girls that I really do mess with. Oh. I'm not attracted to you like that. Mm. I wouldn't put my neck out on the line. That's why I did business with you. I don't want you. Like, if I wanted you, I wouldn't have did business with you. Point blank, period. Business and pleasure? Never again, okay? Lesson learned. You just, you just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Well, some people can. I guess if you have an understanding, you're not going through a depression. You know shit like I was going through. <laughs> You don't get it. I didn't. I have no. I had no intentions of messing with you. Mm. You've been on this couch right here. I'm talking about. Riley has been over my house until like one in the morning. Don't touch her. Swear to God on my life, I never touched Riley. Never kissed her. Never hugged her. Nothing. I could put that on the pipe. I never did anything. Anything to even try Riley or even spark that interest in her mind. And when you was out here, Riley, you was messing with a lot of other dudes. Hey. We, used to, we used to talk about your boy problems. And then you went to Chicago and you started dating this dude, which is cool. And what did I tell you? I told you, Riley, film with him. You're going to make a lot of money. Y'all two light skins. Right. They like light skins on this Literally. platform. Film. Us chocolate mochas can't get no love on the two. You did. Except, uh... <laughs> Gold juice, but that's because she light skin. I'm just saying. Uh, but he a nice looking brother. She a nice looking. They baby is so cute. Oh my god. But okay. Light skin yeah, couples is winning for sure. Though. You think I was jealous? My bad. Let me pause this real quick. Just make this make sense, Riley. If that is true, if I'm jealous of you having a boyfriend. Why am I working with Seven, who has a whole family? Why am I working with Lala that has a whole boyfriend? Why did I sign Danny? He's a whole dude. Oh, you just threw that one in there. <laughs> Something don't sound right. Your time has come. You're done, you're done, you're done. Get Riley to 50K. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He wanted to go down to 50K. Let me tell y'all something. DDG is way more ruthless than me. I, you know. I don't know. I can't. I mean, I can. You know what I'm saying? But I don't like being mean. I am a conscious from time to time. If you cross me, that's a different person. I'm not going to cap. And don't let me have... Like, people feel some type of way when you bring up how you show niggas love. But I, you have to bring it up. Like, how dare you treat me like this and I'm the one that was there for you at the point. But people take it out of way out of proportion. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I was there for you. So, you should show me some type of respect. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel where you're coming from. Call me biased. Whatever. <laughs> and then he brought on a contract type deal with the... I don't want you. I promise you, I don't want you. I promise you. I'm flattered that you thought that, but I do not want you. And I say that in the most respectful way possible. I never, ever tried you. I'm sure if you guys have ever been to like these types of clubs in Hollywood, there's a lot of people who always want to give you opportunity. A lot of men, a lot of men with a lot of money. What did he say? There's a lot of people who always want to give you opportunity. A lot of men, a lot of men with a lot of money. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? And why are you in the video? This has nothing to do with you. I don't even know your name. Right. Bro, listen. The amount of money that I made off Riley can't pay a bill that I have. Damn. Not even a fraction of it. Like, I, like the amount of money that I... Let me tell you, okay, I'm going to give you a little backstory since we get personal. Riley, you was a personal assistant when I met you. You had no YouTube. You had 3,000 followers on Instagram, okay? Mm hmm You were probably making, I don't know how much you was making, but you, I remember you told me. You was probably making like $3,000, $4,000 a month. Hey, hey, babe. No, but probably like $3,000 a month doing your personal assistant job, right? The first month of me and you working... You made over $23,000. See, that's my point. When somebody, you know, you, well, in other words, when you change somebody's life, whether, when you make an impact on someone, whether you, they go from a dollar to goddamn $3, 
or um <clears throat> you know they went from having no computer to a computer you know what I'm saying? or um you know just certain things that i want y'all to understand i'm not talking about the past either um <clears throat> y'all know i don't tell the internet everything you know what i'm saying but <clears throat> niggas watch they gonna know um you know you 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 look out for people and then they just shit on you you know what i'm saying after they get what they want they they shit on you you know what i'm saying and it's just like okay the second month you made over sixteen thousand dollars boom boom when we stopped working, you made four thousand boom boom in that month. Then you made three thousand boom boom, and for the month of April, you made six hundred dollars, Riley. What? Woo! Now I'm gonna tell you right now. If I were to meet Diddy G, see, I'm just that type of person, though. You know what I'm saying? You people that look out for you, you make sure you stay straight with them. I got an OG. That looked out for me on a whole different type of level. Okay? I never disrespect her. Now, we argue. Now, we can argue. But we could go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? That's what friends do. But when you have somebody that look out for you, you just don't cross them. It's just, to me, it's loyalty. But a lot of people don't have that in their bodies anymore. You know what I'm saying? Loyalty don't really exist the way it used to. You know what I'm saying? So... You be loyal to the person that looked out for you. They, of course, will be loyal back to you. You get what I'm saying? And even if things don't go your way, I get it. I get it. But you still have to remember that person looked out for you. And a lot of people got a lot of pride, you know, and want to turn against the person that looked out for them. That's crazy to me. That's just, that's crazy to me, you know. But it happens every day, B. You know what I'm saying? But if I went from making 3000 to $23,000, i am going i am going to, I'm going to try and work it out with you. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you didn't expose me. She. Fuck it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, he oh, needs oh. some milk. And for you to call, and for your meathead ass boyfriend to call this an opportunity. An opportunity? Are you serious? Don't ever disrespect my business like that. Don't, res Period. don't disrespect my business model or anything. I made you into a boss, a superstar. Period. Point blank period. It's disrespectful for you to come on here and try to talk down on my name like I ain't put hella money in your pocket. What's wrong with you? Now I'm honestly getting pissed, bro. So I can reach followings and I can branch up pretty much. And for that, he would get a percentage of the money of whatever I made. Rightfully so. Both were in an agreement. I would be doing all the work though. He would show me how to do it, but I would have to do everything. And I was like, of course, okay? I edited, I edited a few of Riley videos. That's not in the contract. I do. I did so. It's much. not that easy to get up under a person like um, DDG, and a lot of people don't like DDG. He has a lot of uh, a lot of characteristics that I have. <laughs> Whatever you know, what I'm saying like respect me. I looked out for you. Just respect me. That's all. I, that's all I want you to do. You know what I'm saying? People, job, whatever. But this girl, like, I literally created the video, edited the video for her, uploaded the video, let alone made her channel with her. Like, I literally set her down, made her the Gmail, created her YouTube channel, yep. got her a uh, profile picture, a yep. YouTube banner. Yep. I literally created the whole channel, and I edited some of your videos, and I brought you around my family. I bring you around my family. <sighs> my poor daddy, he's so upset. Silent Library video? Yeah. yeah. What did I say? Remember you asked me to pull up? What did I say? I said I'm not pulling up if who can't come. I'm not pulling up if what? <laughs> when we <laughs> did that Silent Library video, I told you I'm not pulling up to do the video with you unless who can't come. Oh, I'm not to pull up. Because you wanted, you had, I think you had just signed it and you were trying to like, 
you know, help her build her brain and stuff. All right, that's all. Don't even ask question, huh? Up, Riley, I want you to know that this has to be literally the dumbest thing you could have ever did, bro. That was when I started to think that you were serious. Because I thought when you first told me about it that it was obviously just somebody trying to hit on you at the club. Yeah. But when he bought you a camera, <clears throat> when he's actually... Yeah, everybody started, would think that, you know what I'm saying, Um, just because she's pretty or whatever. But just because you're pretty don't mean I want you. Just because you're pretty do not mean I want you, honey. And it seemed like... Maybe this guy is about business. Maybe she just got really lucky at this club. And that was when the video idea came. Yeah, that's and when... That's so when DDG suggested to Riley that I talk shit about. Your friends? Fake. Your relationships? Fake. You put them all online for the world to see. I met this man once. I met him one time. I met him... DDG hot in this video. I don't care. I met him <laughs> off camera. And I met him... When we play basketball, you don't know me. Point blank, period. We became super close, and the closer we got, the more information we shared with each other. And I told him about a person that I liked, which was I described him in my videos a light skinned guy with tattoos, like that curly to dread hair. Like, you know, like he just didn't really think, I don't think he really thought that I was actually going to date him or that it was that serious until I started taking vacations with him and because he lived in Chicago. So I would go over there. <clears throat> Riley went to Chicago for 10 days. I told Riley to film with this dude. I told her to. She decided she didn't want to film. She didn't want to put him on the internet. Whoop, whoop, whatever. Okay, cool. I get it. As soon as she got back from I Chicago, did all her views. And she got back and she got mad at me. Like, it was my fault. I told Riley when she went out there, you should film because you're not going to have no new content. They don't want to watch this bullshit content. See, the danger in working with DDG, hell, I mean, um, if I have, if I believe in you and I have passion behind you, you get what I'm saying? I'm going to put my all into you. This is why I can't have friends. I'm not even going to cap. Like, no new friends for me. And, and I want to be very clear on that because... When I have passion behind something, I will push your ass away. You hear me? Because a lot of people want to focus on the bullshit that's going on around us. Uh, no. That's not doing anything. It's not going to help you. If you want to be successful, it's certain things you got to do. I'm not saying I have the biggest success, but I have done a couple things that can that deserve a, a pat on the back. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, if I've been there before, I know someone else can go. So, I will push your ass to the point where it's like, nigga, let's go. Let's get it. If you're working with me, we in the game. If you're not, I don't need you around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want people around me that are focused. I want people around me that uh, want to work. And if you don't want to work, then what the what is the point of me, you know what I'm saying, being with you? This I cannot have friends. It is so over with friends. You know what I'm saying? The people who, who I have around me who understand me, I, they family. That, that's it. I don't I do not do the friends thing anyway. You know what I'm saying? But nah, no new friends for me, baby. I, girl, I can't. I can't because I want more for you than what you want for you. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to be around me, you got to work just as much, just as harder. Or you can't be around me because I don't sit around and do nothing. I work all day long. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was giving her real advice. This video is, not, is giving me nothing but pure jealousy vibes oh, shit. <laughs> she's just she literally got a hundred percent jealous when i started signing new people because she wanted all of my attention she wanted me to keep growing her and all this other stuff which is typical la female stuff you get used out here left and right and this is a very okay. very prime example and a lot of y'all in the comments y'all can see right through this girl man like she's completely 100 percent fake and ungrateful i cannot believe this she thinks that i got jealous because she started dating another riley i don't want you how many times do i have to say that you look like him okay you look just <laughs> like him pretty i'm not talking shit. i don't want you seriously i do not want you i wanted you to film with him so we can both make money, dummy. That what was the point. About? This is why DDG stopped working with you, which, you know what I'm saying, um, which makes sense to me. Now, of course, I wasn't there. I don't know for sure, but I'm just going to give my opinion. If you went to Chicago 
and he told you to film with him and you didn't and pretty much 10 days of either nothing or nothing that was worth making any money that stops him from making money so you stop him from making money he no longer wants to work with you i completely understand you know what i'm saying like i get the whole contract thing i don't know nothing about all that but if you're not working around somebody that like to work or somebody that that's supposed to make money with you off you whatever mm -mm, you gotta go period and if you want me to be real yeah, we got close. Yo, girl was messing with other dudes in L.A., my brother. Why are you sitting there? <laughs> <laughs> I did you just snitch on her? <laughs> okay, no, no, that is not nothing I would do. DDG, <laughs> did you just snitch on her? I cannot believe you. Now that part I am upset about. <laughs> you mad as hell? Yo, lip. Yo, girl was messing with other dudes. Oh I know because she told God. me. Oh. I was her friend. I was talking to her about her boy problems. Yo, it's spooky out here, bro. I wouldn't have said that. All right, now, we got some things in common. But not that. I wouldn't have said that. Listen, I don't care if you was cheating on your shorty or not, nigga. I'm not snitching on you, boy. <laughs> video you should have never i told her i texted yeah. her i said don't put no personal info in there I'm so i dead. warned her in the nicest way she still came over here and did it riley you was messing with all types of dudes out here in la oh. <laughs> all types of dudes out here man and then you went to chicago because you said you like them i'm like all right cool if y'all get in a relationship cool but you acting single so i'm like just be careful we'll whoop all this other stuff just being a friend you come back don't film with them your views plummet you come back here, get mad at me, cuss me out. I said we done. Period. I'm not taking no disrespect. Period. Period. I didn't need to. I created yes. these other videos before I left. I was on vacation at this point. And he knew I was going. So then after that, I came I'm back so and it was dead. just like a problem. Didn't want to shoot videos <laughs> with me anymore. Just he just this. like made it very clear that he was taking his space. So uh. I worked even harder. I kept pushing him for more. She skipped a whole piece of the video riley got back from chicago for two days i am busy riley i don't work for you here that's why i said in the last video you came back here and you fell off because you went out to chicago and you didn't post you was posting nonsense videos fully edited not real not genuine they didn't like them you was getting twenty thousand views a video you came back to la you wouldn't get no money and then you try to cuss me out because i'm busy like I work for you. That's definitely not the case. He was working, 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 <laughs> but he wasn't promoting any of my videos either. So and he probably wasn't promoting them because they was trash. I mean, tr tr trash compared to him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like you just gotta play your cards when you when you messing with people that got a lot of money, especially. I would have stayed on this guest. Uh, call me what you want. You know what I'm saying? But once again, in order to be a leader, you have to be able to follow. And you got to be able to roll with the punches. And you cannot have broke people around you that's telling you, no, don't do this. No, don't do that. Expose them. They're not going to put that 23000 back in your pocket. Girl, why would you do that? You gotta play the game. That, that part of our partnership, he didn't work for me, no. And I didn't work for him either. It was, you do one, I do one, we get this, you know? And Too I much understand that he was busy and that he has a lot of things going on, trust me, I know. But it's still the fact that I was another part of his business that needed to be taken care of the same way of any other business that was going on. That's what you call jealousy. Strictly jealousy. I really don't want to watch this whole video, y'all. I what swear, I don't even want to watch the rest of this video. What's going on, guys? Today I'm here with my girl, T. Hey, y'all. And we're going to spill some tea. So, um, about Zooted. Did you get a contract? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, we got a contract. Everything was great. From the jump, he was straight business. We did everything, like, created content every single day. It was great. I thought you said he liked you. You know what I'm saying? People are full of shit, bro. And then all of a sudden, why is he here, bro? <laughs> <laughs> bro, dead. She make you look bad, bro. And like we started to get, to, to get more personal, like talking about relationships. Like he talked about his, I talked about mine. It was very clear that I had somebody this whole time. 
And then when that somebody, as in my boyfriend Trey, became official, it just, everything like fell through the cracks. When did all this happen? This happened, like when did you stop? I'm done with this. Honestly, she making it seem like to her boyfriend that DDG liked her. That's the reason why um, she was fired. And she's also making making it seem like that to her brother as well. Um, I'm sorry. I see through the facade and I'm not even about to react to her video. And I'm not even about to act like, um, uh, you know, this is just for our shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, call me biased whatever uh i've gone through this so i already know what he talking about i already know how he feeling and i already know why he did what he did